as I speak now, I'm a straight person for the yeah, Western Desert Land Corporation. I'm born not far from here, and I'm um, and I think I got some sort of right here. Mm. It's know. a special place for you. Yeah, it's a special place, and yeah, and I love it here. And I guess one of the things that people have talked to us about is camels, and camels are now a problem. For our, all the vegetables and all the things, all the environment, mm. all that then I think it's getting wrecked, yeah. and uh, rock holes. And like the people are having a research on them now, you know, camel is destroying. Mm. And uh, my understand camel not belong to Australia. Yeah. And yeah. But they're a good animal, but yeah. Too many. But too many is mm -hmm. too many. Yeah. And it's hard to control. Mm -hmm. And they they move all over the place, you know. Not only oh yeah, mostly in my area in the Matu country. And the sites and. Uh, and all the rock holes and they are wrecking them, you know. Mm. And uh, that, that must upset you as a senior man. That must upset you to see those uh, those places damaged. It upset me, and sometimes it make me sorry to do, you know, what we, you know, what I'm, we're planning to do. But mm. it, it is getting out of hand now these days. Uh, the camel are and. We had a couple of meetings with the station managers and they're saying they just gone through fences and all of that. I didn't know they was going through fences. But Camel is going into the communities now and going mm. reckon in our communities. Yes, yeah. Oh, through it. Maybe in, i seen one place in the central desert there, in the Nganyajara land. They take on drinking water from the air conditioning area mm. and there's that I, see, I think I've seen them in the film, there's about, they're in hundreds, you know. Mm. Mm. And uh, camel is getting a bit annoying yes. up out in my country out here in the Western Desert, a mm. model country. Yeah. And uh, people in the city might, might, not, might not understand that for you when you travel, these water, water holes are so important because they, they're important, they keep you, keep you alive. I mean, they're part of your culture, but they keep you alive. So if the camels destroy those, then they're destroying your ability to be able to travel across the land. Is, is that true? It is. Sites is significant site in our culture. It is. They can understand. We are protecting our land and the rock holes and uh, mother nature. I like to say that, and it's this. No, camel are, and uh, they just been a nuisance. And our sites, and our what our ancestors have been tell us to look after the main water holes, and um, all mother nature out there. But camels are in hundreds, some traveling, and they are destroying it and uh, push taka and all mm. and I understand I think they was doing a bit of research on them they eating a lot of ass matus and stuff and look if they gonna eat all the matus or like food out in the western desert or in the motherland what we gotta survive on now we might have to go back to the supermarket and buy you know buy out of our pocket money but uh, Camel is going and destroying, and that's what I've been hearing, and and I believe it too. You know, and mm. camels are doing. Yes. But homeland and the rock holes and all them things, we got to keep it significant, and try to put a fence around it or <laughs> but do something anyway. You know, we got to do something to the camels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I understand. But I like to see if we if we can do make some money out of it. Mm -hmm. to market across to the, you know, into the, not the world. But it, it will help more Madhu people to get a job out there to make a, you know, make a yard for camel, master camel, and truck camel, 
and to find a port where we can send it overseas, you know, and business opportunity for, yeah, for for our young people, mostly our young people are still on the, still in the street today, and some sort of project can help us older people and plus for the future for them mm. and to control the camel mm. and no good that you know this you know this color them and leaving them at there but you know like a strict committee my understanding at the end of the day we cannot find something to fix it up mm -hmm. but it'll take a while but you gotta have that finance, you know. I don't know who gotta give us more, you know. I always fall back to finance. Mm -hmm. Who's guaranteed to give us and help us to sort this camel out anyway, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. going through our country, you know, yes. Yes. Mother Nature. I can't remember what time I seen about from going from Nalagan to Mabulba. I seen one heap was over a hundred. And the second time this was going up to Port Hedland. And this is not in the Murdoch country, this is in a different area in the station, pastoral area, you know, but on the Neapolis land. And from south of Nalagan too, I seen towards many, but there's heaps, you know, just about a hundred in one heap, you know, over mm. about three heaps, that, you know. Mm. I can they have breeding more than the dogs, I think. <laughs>